The third discrepancy that we're going to take a look at is going to be a quantity discrepancy. This means that our flow hub quantity does not match our metric quantity or that our metric quantity does not match our flow hub quantity. I recommend the first thing we do is locate the physical package to see what the actual quantity is. Let's be mindful as well in case we decide to use a unit or grams from that package in one of our display cases or one of our sniffer jars. Once we've determined our physical quantity, we can then match this with either our metric or our flow hub quantity. If we're seeing that our flow hub quantity matches, we'll want to search for the history of this package in the inventory log section of the platform. The reason we're seeing this discrepancy is more than likely due to missing a day of not pushing sales to metric. Now, let's look at the scenario in which we have a higher inventory quantity within our metric compared to our flow hub. Flow hub does not actively push inventory adjustments to metric. This will need to be done within flow hub along within metric. The main reason we'll see this type of discrepancy is because we have made an inventory adjustment within flow hub but have not updated this within metric. Great, we've now covered quantity discrepancies in the metric discrepancy report. In the next video, let's go over the unit of measure discrepancy type. Auf Wiedersehen!